close. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm out here at Irish Hills with Byron from Melissa Trailheads and Steve Noon. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check out their YouTube channels and also a link for the Strava that we did for today. We parked over at Costco and then rode through town a little bit and through a neighborhood to get to this starting point here, which honestly was a beast of a climb. Despite the, despite the hike a bike, it was still a blast. We had a great time. And of course there was Poppy for a downhill, okay. which is always a blast. And then once you get to Ocean View Extension here, yeah, you're still climbing again, but there are a few downhills that make it a lot of fun. But it's climbing. Uh, it's my favorite. I mean, that's why I mountain bike. And then of course, when you get to the top of Ocean View here, you can see all the way out to the ocean. Hopefully it's not foggy for you when you get up here, but it's absolutely beautiful. I know you can see the ocean and the sand dunes, super cool. Diamond version of Ocean View Trail. It's actually really, really fun. Very techy. It's got a lot of jank on it. The main issue with it for me is the fact that it is super pedally. You work for every ounce of fun you're going to get on here, but that kind of goes stays true to most of the trails here on Irish Hills. Is that you're not really going to get crazy long, awesome descents that are super steep. You're going to get. You're going to work for most of it. Tire. A little slip, a little slippery. <laughs> Good Lucky I didn't mow you down. What the hell is that? What happened? Look at that! It just popped in there! breaking on that one. Ah. So you can see why it's called oh, shoots and ladders. Death got trap. all these wooden decks out, built <laughs> death trap. that are oh, fairly God. steep and have absolutely no handrails, so they're somewhat dangerous, honestly. Uh, but they do have metal grates on them, so your tires actually grab that wood pretty well. Even if it was wet out there, you'd be okay. But they definitely take momentum out of the way and slow you down, obviously, because you've got to go a little slow on them and they're sharp turns. But they're unique and fun. Not a fan. Also a pretty nice size rollable drop right here. You could potentially drop it, but the turn right after it is right there and you're gonna go off the cliff if you uh, if you put too much into your drop. So I'd be very careful with dropping it. You could definitely roll it. It looks steep, but you can roll it just fine as you can uh -huh. see I'll do right now. 
Ja. Let's roll the ball. You, I will send you off to the I think he's talking to his chain. Hard spin, I don't know. Maybe Seska Ross. Yeah. Oh my damn it, we, we sent Steve on his another path again. <laughs> As for this little Cali Joaquin blue trail, don't underestimate it. It is a lot of fun. I honestly think it's probably, it's a short strip. There's lots of little things to pop off of and jump off of. I don't know why this is considered a blue and the rest of it was considered black. In my opinion, if you're calling the rest of it black, this, this should be black too, but either way, in Trail Forks, it's a blue trail and it's a lot of fun. Probably could have jumped that. That would have been cool. And that. Woo I don't know. I think this is the favorite part of the trail. Oh, look at this. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next week.